in this video, what we're uh, we're going to do, we're going to talk about um, a few topics uh, in connection with Seringoma. And this is because a number of times uh, people have asked us to, to cure their Seringoma, have referred to Seringoma as a disease. And first of all, Seringoma is not a disease as such because you don't need uh, to get rid of seringoma. You can live a, a normal life uh, even having uh, seringoma all throughout your life. There's no known cure as such uh, for seringoma that is recognized by uh, normal uh, uh, Western medicine. Um, so you can, there's no drugs available uh, over the counter. Your doctor cannot prescribe you with any effective drugs in order to cure, so to speak, the, the seringoma, all you can do is removing them. And so what we have done on our website, seringomaribo.com, we have uh, grouped the, uh, the number of ways that you can use in order to remove uh, seringoma. And this is on uh, what are the options. So you click in there, you'll find a, a brief video. It only lasts a few well, one minute and a half, I think. So you can have an overview quickly. You don't need to read throughout the whole uh, page if you don't want to, but you can have an idea in there. And this is, these are the well-known uh, ways in order to remove syringoma. The excision is not the, the best one anymore because uh, we've got electrofulguration devices uh, already widely available throughout the world, which can burn the syringoma off by um, ablating them, burning them off from the top um, uh, superficially so you get very good aesthetic results. The same uh, burning effect can be accomplished using aesthetic lasers. Uh, the, the wavelength that you use with aesthetic lasers is going to be uh, relatively, relatively high in order to, uh, to burn them off um, superficially. Uh, we, uh, on our website, nosseringomaribo.com, on other websites, we talk about lasers and uh, how they act on the skin based on their uh, wavelength qu in quite in depth. Uh, you'll find that on another website called mosaicplasma.com. But it's not a topic that I'd like to talk about in this video. Then another way of uh, removing syringoma is by using cryotherapy. It, it is possible and it has been done, but it's not very uh, common nowadays uh, because other techniques in, uh, are much uh, more um, effective in terms of much is much more uh, you get better results it's much easier for you to remove syringoma by using either aesthetic lasers or um, uh, plasma devices or electrical fulguration devices so this is to say by burning them off uh, physically and also another method which is um, quite effective it's been used uh, for several years throughout the world is using uh, specialized cosmetic peels what has been used with uh, a great de deal of success is TCA. We're going to show you a few pictures of it. Uh, this is, these are the common syringoma before, and this is immediately after. And the TCA is, um, is very evident because what you get is the, the, the white spot in there, which is typical of TCA. TCA concentrations that is normally used is between 50 and 90%. And this is widely used in aesthetic clinics, but we have made uh, the, um, uh, because TCA is not very easy to control at home, we have made the serine remover, which is a glycolic acid, special, a specialized glycolic acid gel with vitamin A um, that uh, has a very similar effect. And in practice, this, uh, the same effect, but you can control the effects uh, much more easily at home and you don't need a neutralizer whereas uh, with TCA sometimes you do need it and it's not as aggressive so, but you get the same results uh, but a different um, type of uh, reaction with the skin. Actually TCA nowadays is not as used as it used to be since the advent of uh, glycolic acid. So, um, If you want to know more about uh, any of these topics or uh, more topics uh, please let us know. We're very happy to, to answer all your questions and uh, very thank you very much for watching.